the problem right now i'm going to be solving is called couples holding hands so n couples sit in two in seats arranged in a row and want to hold hands we want to know the minimum number of swaps so that every couple is sitting side by side a swap contains of choosing any two people and then they stand up and switch their seats uh, so here you can see the first couple is 0 and 1 second is 2 and 3 so you can see the sample input over here 0 2 1 and 3 so there is a mismatch 0 is expecting 1 uh, to be is in his side and uh, over here one is ex ex expecting 0 or uh, one is expecting 2 so the swap required over here is just swapping 2 and 1 so 0 and 1 and then over here 2 and 3 so yeah uh, that will be uh, that will be the result so that's why one is here and in this sample test case 3 and 2 are already uh, already sitting side by side so no swap is required and again 0 and 1 so no swaps are required you might think this problem as uh, Uh, minimum swap required to sort the array but this is not that problem you can clearly see from the this test case so let's try to think how we can solve this problem so here uh, we have to swap each and every number with its correct position so you can see uh, let's say 0 so what is the number that 0 next expecting 0 is expecting 1 to be seated at here uh, now consider here this is the first number and this is 3 so what's the number that 3 is expecting 3 is expecting 2 so you see a pattern over here uh, if if the number that we are expect if the number current number is an odd number then we subtract 1 from that number to get what will be its pair and again if the number is an even number 0 is an even number then we just simply add 1 to it so so my idea is to first add all of this uh, all of this values in a hash map uh, along with their indices so in this way we will be able to know that uh, let's say that for 0 for 0 we can just simply calculate what is what is the expected number that needs to be over here so for that case we can simply get the index of that number from the hash map and then do swapping and once we occur some such cases we will increment the counter uh, to to know that yeah one swap is been done so in this way we will be able to sort all of this thing okay let's try to solve this problem so i'm going to be writing a hash map which be which will be of type integer as a key and integer as a value so let's call it map okay now here in this map so the first thing we will we will have to do is we will uh, have to traverse this row array and add all the values along with their indices so let's just do that all right now right now we will be traversing the array again but uh, we will keep taking two numbers at a time so instead of incrementing the i as 1 we will increment i as 2 so let's just do that okay so what we need to check is the first number first number and that number will be uh, row of i now how do we calculate the next number next number will be calculated if row of i is even then we simply okay it will be first 
plus if rho of i is even then we will simply add 1 otherwise minus 1. So instead of doing this we could just simply do a bitwise ZOR. So what bitwise ZOR will do is that uh, bitwise ZOR uh, with 1. So what it's gonna do is if let's say these are the digits and here is 1 at the last position. So if there is a 1 at the last, last position it means that the number is odd. So doing bitwise ZOR with 1 we just simply decrement that number by 1 because two same number produces a 0 in the bitwise ZOR and if it's 0 then it will simply increment that. Makes sense right? Okay. So we are done. So what we need to do is we need to check if uh, uh, if uh, rho of i plus 1 is not equal to second. It means that uh, there is a mismatch so we will have to do the swapping. So we I forgot to take a counter. Uh, let's call it swaps and initially it is 0. So swaps will be incremented and we actually need to swap these positions. So I'm going to create a function called swap over there. I'm going to be passing this array and the index that needs to be swapped. So I plus index needs to be swapped with uh, whatever the value is stored in the map or whatever. Uh, so we will basically get uh, this second value and that's index. So we will put uh, take that index and swap it in the i plus 1 position so that uh, everything will be in order. So it will be map.get second. Alright. Uh, yeah. So we will have to write the swap method. It will take an integer array and index i and index j. Let's store uh, index i here and All right, but uh, we are not done here. We will have to swap that in the map also. So what we can do is uh, in the map, we, we, we can simply put uh, array of i and its new location is right now. Array of i's new location is uh, i and array of j's location is j after the swapping. So we are good to go and we can simply return the value number of swaps required. Cannot find symbol. Okay. Yeah, sorry, it will be put. And one more mistake is there, uh, I will be incrementing i by 2 because I just want to take two numbers at a time. Okay, it's been accepted. So what's the time complexity of this? Uh, the time complexity of this uh, method is order of n. Uh, why order of n? Because uh, this loop, uh, there is only one loop over here and here you can see there is a get operation from the map but map provides order of one uh, time for fetching so and this swap method will also take a constant time so overall time complexity is order of n and overall space complexity is order of n so that's it if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks